On today's Daily Slab, we are looking at Randy Arena and the Rays, the streaking Rays, and we are going to cover the top five sales of the week. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's Daily Slab. Welcome everyone to the Daily Slab. I am Nate, and our trender for today is Randy Arena and the Rays. And the reason for this is because they just got done sweeping the Red Sox. Uh, not the vaunted team, the Red Sox, by any means. And they've played the A's and they've played the Tigers. They haven't had the toughest schedule. But you're supposed to beat the teams you're supposed to beat, right? And a lot of teams lose to teams they should be beating. Well, not the Rays. The Rays are currently 13-0, tying the 1982 Braves and the 1987 Brewers for the longest streak to start a season in MLB history. Uh, very, very impressive. One of the major reasons why they have won this many games is Randy Rosarena. So Randy is hitting 314 on the year with a 379 on base and a 549 slugging. He's added in three home runs. He also has a 162 WRC plus on the early going. That is a 62% better than the league average hitter right there. The former rookie of the year was obviously excellent in the World Baseball Classic. And now he has extended that excellence to the regular season. And his card market has gone up because of it. In the last three months, his 2020 Topps Chrome Rookie Refractor PSA 10 is up 101%. Now, it's not an entirely expensive card. It started at $13. It's up to $26. But it's the little wins like these that help the small-time collectors along the way. If you buy a card for $13 and you sell it for $26, you might be able to get a slightly nicer card of somebody else and keep doing that down the line, right? So while it is not... You know, it's not a Bowman Chrome Auto, it's not a Topps Chrome Super Fractor, or anything like that. It's these little cards that really help small collectors grow into big collectors. And Randy Rosarina is doing that, and he's also helping the Rays stay perfect on the young season. And therefore, he is our trender of the day. In what's happening, we've got our top five sales of the week going from last Thursday through this Wednesday, because I record on a Thursday afternoon for your Friday consumption. So Thursday to the end of Wednesday, our top five sales of the week. And we start off with number five, and that is Patrick Mahomes 2017 Contenders Cracked Ice Auto number to 25 BGS 9. That bad boy sold for $43,200 on the 9th of April. A very, very, very healthy price there. Uh, would have likely been significantly more expensive back in 2020, 2021 when the market was crazy, but $43,000 for a, a piece of cardboard, you can't complain. Number four on the list, this one's actually pretty impressive. Josh Giddy 2021 Immaculate Rookie Local Man Auto, one of one. So this sold for $45,200 on the 12th of April. And uh, Josh Giddy had a good year. He was the second leading scorer on an upstart Thunders team. They haven't made the playoffs yet, but they did win their first play-in game. And we will see if they make the eighth seed in the West. But Josh Giddy had a big step forward. Shea Gilgis-Alexander had a big step forward. And people are paying high prices to get their hands on their cards. And this is a very high price. Number three on the list is Anthony Edwards 2020 Prism Rookie Gold, number to 10, PSA 9. That sold for $45,600 on the 9th of April. That is also a very healthy price. They now have to go play the Thunder to see if they can make it into the playoffs or not. Be interesting to see which one of these two cards was the better purchase for, depending on which team makes the playoffs uh, in the AC. Number two on the list is Patrick Mahomes again, this time a flawless emerald rookie patch auto number to five BGS nine. This sold for $55,200 on the ninth as well. Very expensive. Most of these cards sold to the PWCC weekly auction, but Patrick Mahomes on this list twice. And then lastly, and the most interesting card here, Ty Cobb, 1910 E98 set of 30 red CSG 9.5. Now, 
Now, what's interesting about this card, outside of its age, is that there's only 31 total graded. Only 31. 27 of them are by PSA, three of which are 10s. And then you have three graded by SGC, none of which are 10s or 9.5s. And then you have the one that's sold here, graded by CSG as a 9.5. And this sold for $66,000. So only a POP31 and not many 9.5s or above. A very healthy price there. PSA 10s I saw were averaging $827,000 on those bad boys are projected for that. And uh, this, as a 9.5, pretty healthy discount there. Sweet, sweet card. Love it. If I had to choose a card from this week, how could I choose against 1910 Ty Cobb? Uh, the history is there. It's 120 or 113 years old, and there is a low pop on them. So that would be my take for the card of the week. All right, today is the 14th. One last thing here. Today is the 14th, which means the... April 15th SGC submission has passed. Uh, Unlikely you'll be able to get your cards in in one day. So that means time to start planning for the next Slab Stocks SGC submission that will be going out on the 30th. If you want to find out more about grading your cards through Slab Stocks with SGC, you can go to slabstocks.com slash grading to find out more there. It is $18 a card, super, super cheap. Also, you can get Pokemon cards for $12 a card, also super cheap. So check that out, uh, and uh, slabstocks.com slash grading. All right, thank you everyone for watching today's Daily Slab. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, and I will talk to you over the weekend for the next Daily Slab. See everyone.